Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another game of the Paradox Epic uh, gameplay. I, I, I for completely forgot we've already, what we've already called this. Uh, uh, the Paradox Mega Campaign, that's it. Uh, we are back with our Dracula gameplay. Now, uh, a lot of things have changed uh, since the last time... Uh, You've seen the last video, uh, partially because there's been a large gap in time since I've played this. But the other part is I actually recorded this once prior and the thing completely screwed up my actual audio recording. It got the gameplay recording, but not the audio recording. So, uh, to make things short for what happened during this period of time, uh, a lot of things happened. Uh, we were in a giant civil war that has now ended. Uh, a lot of the wars that we were in have ended completely. I had a daughter. I named her... Give me a second. I named her Maria Z I named her Maria Zaleska, which was a pun on the Daughter of Dracula series. And I think... I can't remember if my wife's pregnant or... It doesn't seem to be. I'll just say that that was part of an alternate universe, but yeah, so, oh, and I'm also trying to gain some more soldiers so that way I could actually attack somebody, which, you know, would be very pr much preferred. Anyway, so we're going to get back into things, and this time I at least know everything is recording, so yeah, let's, let's see if we can do better. Of course, another thing that you'll also see is that uh, Sanad and Thames, Thames? I don't know. Uh, they're their own countries now. I guess they kind of just gained their own independence. Either that or maybe... I don't know. Because it's weird. Sometimes, like, things will just fall completely independent just because, uh... Things will fall independent because of who inherited the throne. Uh, let's see what else is going on in the world. Uh, ooh. I didn't realize England was back, but it's back and it's in a huge revolt right now. I could have swore that, uh... I could have swore that uh, you were Sweden for a while, England. King Harold of Norway had this. Uh, he conquered it in a war. Then Prince Magnus of Norway inherited, then England, then William the Conqueror was installed by a faction demand instead of a... Okay, that's very interesting. So this was originally Norway. In fact, you can still see parts of Norway here. Uh, but it is now just uh, England because it, it's weird how those faction stuff can work. I am right now just trying to have a good relationship with my wife so I could have more babies. Because I currently have a daughter who's one, but she's slow and sickly, which is, yeah, never a good sign. So, yeah, I, I don't have too much hope for you, Maria. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping you make it through. Uh, it's just I don't have that much hope. In the meantime, I'm also still just trying to find who would be the best place, or where would be the best place, to try to take over. Okay, I'm up to 300 coins at this point, so maybe it's time for me to uh, invest in a few more soldiers. So I made a mistake last time. Uh, my entire army levies is 700. And my levy size would increase by 10%, which means I would increase by 70 soldiers. Uh, this increases my stuff by 40 and 50. Which is interesting. Uh, it's either 10% between everything here, or just getting individual stuff. If I'm going to be doing this, I probably want to wait a bit. Okay, my wife is pregnant again. Awesome. Maybe this time we'll get a son? That would be nice. Okay, the King of Hungary, who is imprisoned, has formed an a alliance with King Harold the Wise of Denmark. Why is the King of Hungary in prison? Imprisoned by 
Constantinople? When did you get arrested in Constantinople? Oh, sorry, or is it Istanbul in this case scenario? Istanbul was Constantinople, now it's Istanbul, now Constantinople. Pregnancy has caused my wife to uh, develop quite the unusual taste. Okay, I don't like this event because depending on what you actually feed your wife will depend on what your kid gets. Now, technically speaking, this is the best option, but there's also a 40% chance of gluttony, and that is not good, so... But it's the best choice. Did you get it? Okay, you're well fed, but you're not gluttonous. That's good. Ooh, the first signs of were small and easily dismissed, but now they're too frequent. Gave birth under the auspicious stars. Okay, I mean, that could mean good things for my one kid. Uh, you know, this will get me more soldiers overall, but right now, ooh, use it, aha. Okay, uh, let's get some barracks. Well, hold on now. 170, 280, that'll only leave me 100. Yeah, the good thing is that I have a false claim on this uh, county right now. Uh, this means that as long as I live, so, I mean, we, we all remember what happened to Vlad over here, but as long as I live, I will always have a claim to this county right here. Uh, it's a strong claim, uh, because my guy over here decided to do some fake thieving, I guess. He, he, you know... Went and found some papers, erased some stuff, you know. Basically just made it so that way uh, I can take over this place if I wanted to. I don't have anything. Oh, sweet. Okay, another daughter was born. Uh, I, I didn't get to name her. Another sickly child? Good God. What's with all these sickly kids? I now need to get more soldiers than he does. I am nowhere close to that. He is also close to death's door from the looks of it, so if he dies, I have a more legitimate reason to go to war against him. And the levies would need to be completely reorganized. So honestly, my best course of action right now, despite the fact that I have claim on here, is just to wait things out. Please not come to my area, please. Now oh, shit. Okay, he's not besieging it, that's good. <laughs> it's always funny that they come for like this county here, but they'd never come for my county. And honestly, my marshal's not very good overall, but that's why I have generals and stuff. Which, speaking of which, do I have any commanders? Two. They're honestly not the best. Can I find any better commanders? Oh no! My daughter is the contracted consumption. That's not good. And I don't have anyone that I, anyone here for stuff, so. Hmm. Oh no! Oh, poor Agnes. Oh, poor Agnes. Died of consumption. You know, you weren't there for a very long time, but I, I am going to miss you, Agnes. Alright. My, uh, Marshall also died. This leads to some... Okay. You know, the fact that I was looking at these guys now is actually much better. Uh, I'm going to have, let's see. I'll invite you to my court as well. Okay, so with that, hopefully, Congratulations, you're my new marshal. Okay.
There we go. Hmm. I actually lost some soldiers. Interesting. But that's no matter. I now have a more competent marshal. So... Here, train troops. So overall, uh... I still only have my one da daughter, Maria Zaleska, who, despite the fact being sickly, has made it to the age of three. Which I must say is a big, big accomplishment for the Middle Ages, especially for being sickly. One of the things that I gotta do is invest in military organization. This will help me when it comes to creating more retinues and for global supply. This is important. The reason why it's super important to know and understand this stuff is, uh, well, supply is everything. There's an old saying uh, when it comes to military stuff. Uh, amateurs talk about strategy, professionals talk about uh, logistics, like supplying stuff. So I want to focus a good amount on supply. Hopefully me and the wife get another kid at some point, as I, I still feel bad about Agnes, but we also just need some, like, more kids. We just need a lot, a lot, a lot more kids. As reigning count, I rarely have t spare time to spend for my little daughter, but I but I would move heaven and earth for her. Family first, of course. Why am I getting sieged? You dick. Now well, this is not good at all. Okay, I got a nephew. Hmm. Some of these nephews and nieces might be good for helping expand my expand my dynasty because right now my dynasty is very, very tiny. Because look at this, uh, Vlad is the only one of House Dracula. Everyone else is of a different house except of me and my two kids, and one of them is dead. So there's only two people technically of this dynasty. In other words, I'm kind of royally effed over if, noth if something doesn't go well. Nothing but failure for reasons behind this. This is Mayor Ist of... He has been nothing but trouble since I arrived. Damn it, I'm trying to increase the levy and you're not helping. Especially since right now we're being besieged, which is never good. The defenders of Fahir successfully raided the camps of the besiegers, inflicting heavy casualties. Okay, that's good, but that still doesn't help us. Rumors of a traitor within the besiegers have eroded the morales of the defenders of Fahir. Damn it! Look, I'm just trying to do my best, and right now it's... You know, being besieged by a bunch of people here. Because honestly, the amount of men I have is still the same. It's just, you know, it's the morale. Oh uh, yeah, I'm supposed to be, uh... Okay, I, apparently I gotta find you a guardian, so... Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, my steward's no longer uh, working for us. Excellent. Ooh, young, 18, 21, Midas touch. Yes, please come to my court as soon as possible. Kid, you're going to go places as the steward of Fahir. We've decided to offer you the position of commander. Oof. I am not that good. Medium crown authority law in the kingdom Hungary. As my de Yuri vassal entitles you. I mean... <sighs> medium crown authority. 
that doesn't do a whole lot for me. So... Hmm. I'm just going to ignore it for now. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter. Finally, I'm no longer being besieged. Okay, yeah, see? It didn't even matter my vote. Okay, I'm going to have you research economy. Because I think, what will that get moving? Oh, the economy advantages, that's good. Uh, let's see. My spy master's not doing much. So, as always, study technology in Constantinople. Which, the good thing is that that gets basically everything going on the research train. And normally I'd have my, uh... Marshall also studying that stuff too, but since I'm basically super, super low on things, that's not going to be happening, so. Okay, fine. Just have those guys do that just because I don't want the uh, penalty. Cool. They're able to find them pretty quickly. Hungary's just getting gobbled up by the Pechengs over here. Could I? Sweet. Could I arrange a betrothal with my daughter? You would. Oh, but you would only accept a regular, not a matrilineal. Damn. Yeah, that's the bad part about that. Uh, you see, when you're, you're when you're in my thing, when you're in the point of position where there's very few people in your dynasty, you're constantly thinking about who can I marry off so that way there's still people of my dynasty uh, still around. Because it's pretty easy to have dynasties just die off if you're not careful, especially since. Uh, if you're talking about, like, your, you know, like, your cousins and stuff like that, your aunts and uncles can make some really stupid decisions of who should be and shouldn't be part of stuff. So I'm going to wait for that to continue, and in the meantime, I'm just going to wait here for a bit. Because not a lot left I can do. Oh, my daughter's six now. Ooh, congratulations for living. Uh, you're going to be looked after by nobody else but myself, obviously. Because I want to make sure that uh, the best decisions are for me. Okay, so you're no longer sickly, but you are kind of slow. Yeah, slow is not good. So, well, your, your marshal's actually not too bad, all things considered. I might be able to get something out of you with that if your base was a five. I guess we'll see. But right now, uh, if I wanted to, who could I arrange a matrilineally to? Of course, with the most amount of power. Prince of Sicily. Uh, from the Kingdom of Sicily. Okay, you're nowhere close to... Okay, sweet. More, more people. Yeah, you're nowhere close to being, uh, someone who can inherit. Is there anyone who can? Is there anyone here who's, like, you know, like a possible inheritor or something? Oh! My brother has died. My half-brother has died, which, that makes things a bit easier. So, I no longer have problems with my line of succession with someone who can clearly inherit. Because here's the thing, she holds claims, but since she's a woman, people aren't going to just naturally jump to, onto that. Hmm. 
<laughs> so that's kind of good, if not also kind of bad. Levy reinforcements almost to 50%. Just going one for cover. This has started to worry me. Uh, this will give her craven but happy with upbringing. Some fears are good, but they should be limited. So 50% chance of content, 30% of craven, 20% no chance. Fear is a mind killer. Loses the trait Craven. 25% chance of Brave. Hmm. The thing with Brave is that it adds moral defense, martial, personal combat skills, vassal opinion goes up. Uh, same trait opinion goes up. This is worth doing because uh, losing Craven is going to happen no matter what if I do that. Uh, getting Brave is also good. There's a 25% chance of it. But here's the thing. Uh, with this, there's a 50% chance of getting content, but there's only a 30% chance of losing Craven. So, let's do this. Fear is a mind killer. And, okay, she lost it. She didn't gain Brave, but, you know, say la vie. Okay, my wife's pregnant again. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Because I'm 30, and I, I'm almost 30, and I only have one kid. And that's a daughter, which is bad, but it would be better if there was a son in there. Yeah, same thing as last time. 40% chance of my wife getting gluttonous. Which she isn't, thank God. Whew. Every time I'm just always like, ugh, whew. Dodged a bullet when it comes to gluttonous. Because I had a king in one of my previous games. Uh, her, his wife got gluttonous. And then he became fat because she became gluttonous. What happened to him? He's no longer my marshal. What did you die from? Poor health. Well, I mean, I guess it's a good thing I got some other people. Uh, congratulations, you're now my new marshal. How much has that fucked over? Okay, not too bad, though. It could always be better. <sighs> yeah, I don't have a whole lot left, do I? My problem is that I don't have that many uh, troops because of how small... Th I finally have a son. Thank God. Okay, your name's not going to be Erno. Uh, I know exactly what you're going to be named. It's only appropriate. <laughs> Sweet. I can get a new ambition, which this one is to become a paragon of virtue. Uh, the alliance between Arapad of Hungary and the king of Ruthenia has dissolved because they no longer have marriage ties. Interesting. Ooh, I have a weak claim on Barcelona. Okay, I could press this claim, but here's the thing. This is for my courtier, which means that she would get it, not I. I introduced the bar introduce a bar to Prince Arapad Laszlo today, and I hoped he liked his poetry. He instead threatened to break his bones. Yeah, I'm kind of disgusted by his behavior because of that. So yeah, she does have a claim that I could press. But I won't inherit it. It's also all the way in Spain, so why would I? Okay, I'm okay with losing content. It has been quite some time since I regularly went out hunting or trained for combat. My body no longer longer be what it used to, but spending more time at home with my beautiful wife gives me all the happiest in the world. Uh, here's the thing. Yeah, I don't care. The only thing that matters to me is my family. This keep So this is like I keep eating and potentially become fat. Uh, I get a plus five in fertility. General opinion goes up by three. I definitely gain fat. Uh... Satisfying your cravings might help you become less stressed, which is good. 
uh, your caring and kind attitude might earn you the love of your relatives. So that's a plus three in general opinion. Or I could force myself to go on to a habit. So uh, gets hard diet until January 7th of 1105. That's a long time. And because of that, I get a minus two to martial diplomacy, stewardship, and health. You know, I don't know why, because my wife didn't become... Yeah, she's well fed, but she didn't become uh, gluttonous, so... I guess the question is, it's 11, 1098 right now, and it's 1105. So the question is, am I going, am I realistically going to go to war in the next seven years? Chances are I'm not. And honestly, when it comes to my marshal, everything's already pretty good. But I wouldn't mind having fertil my fertility up a bit more, because we're 30, so we can push out a couple more kids. <sighs> I guess Count Alucard become he got a little chubbier. You know, he actually doesn't look too bad. I guess I'm going on that diet anyway. Okay, I've lost the fat trait. But I'm also going on a hard diet now, I believe. <laughs> that was quick. I'm glad my wife uh, got me through that, so okay. Is not exerting herself into her studies. I'm starting to despair. She's just dense. What can I do? Talk to her about being diligent. I'm not going to pray for her soul. That's just stupid. Because there's only 20% chance of that working. This is 100% chance of that. This is the best thing that I can do. So let's see what happens. Okay, well, she lost Slothful. That's pretty good. All right, I'm going to just have my marshal just train troops. Hopefully he can get more stuff that way. Bernard has arrested a man with ragged armor and spotty horse. He says he's the man that claims to be a hedge knight, but clearly does not believe the statement. I could lose 25% prestige. And Renard's opinion changes me of minus 10 for uh, decision overruled. Or I gain prestige and I just lose piety. Piety doesn't do much in this game anyway, so. Oh great, I'm stressed. Well, I guess it's a good thing that I have the family focus then, because I get a plus one to my health. Why are all of my children sickly and ilf? And he's a dwarf, what the hell? Okay, he's no longer sickly, but why is it that all of my kids are unhealthy? I'm starting to think that well-fed thing actually doesn't mean healthy kids. Daughter was born to Reynolds de Orange and Catherine the Unfaithful. Oh boy. Catherine, who are you actually married to? Red and old, so. Okay, did you just have like a previous husband that you cheated on, I guess? Okay, my wife's pregnant again. Awesome. Nothing better than having multiple pregnancies going on. Uh, especially since we already lost one kid and we need as many kids as possible so that way I don't have a, a dead, you know, legacy. Uh, minus two in stewardship, but definitely plus to health. She should rest. After the first uh, struggle to rest properly in dark room, but after I had the brilliant idea of having Bard tell her stories from outside, the experience became a lot more bearable. Okay, that's always good. Never showing off or bragging. That is always a good thing to not show off or brag. There, yeah, oh, encourage her. She should be happy with her upbringing. Okay, that's good. She's still a bit slow, but not a lot we can do about that. Oh, looks like the assassins have now spread. Interesting. Are they in our influ- No, they're not in our influence yet. Dang it. Uh, let's see. Would you be interested in my 10-year-old daughter? No, that's what I thought. Another daughter was born. Nice. I'm okay with Sunzi. Yeah, here's the thing. A lot of people might say that, oh, well, why would you want daughters? Well, here's the thing. Daughters can help when it comes to securing marriages, securing alliance. Those are always good. 
Uh, but the other thing is that with all that, here, I'll just assign it to my spy master because it doesn't really matter. But with all, but with that, uh, as long as you do a matrilineal marriage for them, it doesn't really matter too much. I'd get a non-aggression pact with Sicily if I marry her to Gilbert, Prince of Sicily. But the thing is, is that Gilbert is nowhere even close. Uh, so the only thing I gain from that is just a prestigious title, and that's it. So, yeah, let's, what else is going on in the world right now? Let's see, France is in a bit of a pickle, as always, uh, Castile is doing its thing. Where's Aragon? I don't know, or is Aragon not a thing yet? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Yeah, everything seems to be pretty normal right now. Uh-oh. Uh, I guess my men are ready to Jerusalem. Yeah, this happened in the last game, too. Uh, marital bliss. Ooh. Oh. Oh, boy. Okay, so this is a menu I have not seen before, but this is going to be for the Crusading of Jerusalem. Uh, looks like we're going to be cru crusading in 1102. And we're going to be targeting the Galafath. No. Uh, I need to select a stance. Uh... Now, I need to make a decision. I should comply with the papal, or will it go on my own way when it comes to the distribution of the titles in the case of a victory in the Crusades? I'm just going to do my beneficiaries will get the title. The reason why is because I don't have a beneficiary. This is the cooperative military strength of... Your beneficiary. This is the character you have chosen as your beneficiary. A beneficiary might made might be made into a ruler in the Crusader in the, in the Crusader Kingdom. And I don't have anyone that I can actually choose. So... And of course I'll contribute to the war chest. Uh, 100 gold. It's just enough, you know? Total strength, 53%. Oh! Shit, did I, did I get out of the crusade by accident? Uh, my daughter uh, hardly eats anything for fear of turning fat. You know, temperance is not bad. I'll let her have temperance. Okay, what the hell did I do wrong by accident? Okay, I can make a new pledge after 1101 and 62. Okay, so I accidentally left the crusade. Whoops. Okay, so the thing doesn't start until 1102, so I could always just join back. All right, I think that's going to be good enough. Uh, so, uh, until next time, I hope you guys have a good one. Bye-bye.